voice of aid organizations sounding the alarm about Gaza. And so you've now said that humanitarian pauses in fighting aren't enough and there needs to be work towards a ceasefire. Are you disappointed that other world leaders aren't joining you in that call, like the US or the UK? No, I hope they will. And let, let's be clear, I mean, I was one of the first leaders to call uh, the Prime Minister and President of Israel after the terrorist attack, the 7th of October. We clearly condemned this terrorist attack and this terrorist group and recognized the right of Israel to protect itself and react. But day one, we say that this reaction and the fight against terrorism, because it is led by a democracy, should be compliant with international rules, rule of war, and, and humanitarian international law. And day after day, what we saw is a per permanent bombing of civilians in Gaza. And I think it's, uh, it's very important to say the whole story, <laughs> but I, I think this is the only solution we have. This is fire. Because it's impossible to explain we want to fight against terrorism by killing innocent people. You've talked about the fight uh, against terrorism needing to be merciless, is, is the word you used, but not without rules. And you've just referred there to the high loss of civilian life in Gaza. Do you think Israel is respecting those rules, the international rules that you're referring to? Uh, look, in the very first days, it's clear that the emotion, the compassion, uh, created a situation where everybody was just close to Israel and backing them and uh, sharing the pain. And we do share their pain and we do share their willingness uh, to get rid of terrorism. We, we know what terrorism means in France. But I think there is no justification precisely to attack civilians. What I would like to, just to clarify with you, are you saying that Israel is guilty of breaking international humanitarian law? potential war no, crimes? No, I'm here, look, I, I think it's not uh, the proper way to approach the question. We do recognize the right to protect themselves. And, and one month after this terrorist attack, I think it would be not the right way to deal with uh, uh, a partner and friend just to say you will be condemned and you are guilty. De facto, today, civilians are bombed. De facto, these babies, these ladies, these old people are bombed and killed. So there is no reason for that and no legitimacy. So we do urge Israel to stop. I'm, I'm not here to, I'm not a judge. I'm a head of state. I just remind everybody international law. I call for a ceasefire and I will urge them for a ceasefire, for an humanitarian ceasefire.